The next reaction of amines we're going to look at is particularly useful from a retrosynthesis perspective because I've got a huge amount of variability and a, a lot of options of what we can do. Um, but essentially, we're going to start with specifically aniline. Now, you can do this with a normal primary amine or secondary amine, um, but either you form something that's not stable or just something that's not going to be synthetically relevant. Uh, but if you start with aniline here, and we add nitrous acid, and note nitrous acid is HNO2, probably how you saw it in Gen Chem. You might also see it written in this context as HONO. The only reason I bring that up is the first time I saw it written that way, I was like, what in the world's HONO? Uh, but in this case, we're mixing sodium nitrite and a strong acid like HCl or HBr is most common. Uh, and with starting with aniline, you form a fairly stable arene diazonium salt. Uh, if we use just a normal primary amine, it wouldn't form anything stable. It would actually decompose before you could do anything with it. Uh, but with aniline, we get this lovely arene diazonium salt. And the big important part here is that that lovely species is a fantastic leaving group. It's going to leave as nitrogen gas, and I can replace it with a whole host of different nucleophiles in what are termed the Sandmeyer reactions. Let's take a look. So in these Sandmeyer reactions, you're probably not on the hook for any sort of mechanism, and I'm not going to talk about it, uh, but a lot of memorization here for just what you can replace, again, this good leaving group with. Now, I can replace it with an OH. If I use H3O+, or technically just simply water would work, I can replace it with a chlorine with CuCl, a bromine with CuBr, a cyano group with CuCn, so those are kind of easy, they're all very similar, uh, a fluorine with HBF4, uh, an iodine with potassium iodide, and then finally a hydrogen with H3PO2 hypophosphorus acid. And this is something you, know, something you just simply need to commit to memory, all these different options. So it's unfortunate you got this one set of Sandmeyer reactions that comes with several different options. Uh, so make some flashcards, do what you need to do, but uh, you do need to commit this to memory if this is part of your course curriculum.